This is gonna be crazy. What is good, ladies and gents of YouTube? My name is BBK Dragoon. Welcome to Monday Night in the Pit. I answer your questions, I show your opinions from last week's topic, and also some Halo game prey. We're starting off with a really lucky stick clip. A few announcements before I start answering your questions and show the answers from last week's topic. 321 Double Krill Stick, that was lucky. Number one, this is E3 week in Los Angeles. Two of our very own Halo Zone directors, Paul B and M. Vito are out there this week. They're gonna be checking out the scene. And not only that, they're gonna be right there in the thick of things, informing us about all the awesomeness that is the Halo 4. That's right, they're gonna be giving their opinions on what they're gonna see, what they're gonna play, all that jazz. So please check the links down in the description below. I put links to their Twitter and also to their YouTube channels. And again, I've also put a link to Halo Zone in there so you guys can check it out. They're going to be pushing information out for this week. And it's a big deal that uh, a few of our very own are out there getting to check out Halo 4. So if you want to know the scoop before the rest of the world knows, follow them there. Our second announcement, I put out the third part of my beginner's guide just a few days ago. I will link to it at the end of this video. And there will be a link down in the description. It's not completely marketed for the beginner. That's right. If you're an advanced Halo player, check it out. It's got some nice tidbits and info in there. It's a longer video. I don't usually do 20 minute videos, but uh, I'm taking that series pretty seriously. And then finally, our last announcement this week is what you're watching. That's right. SWAT gameplay and some Griff Ball at the end. Let's get to these questions. I don't have a ton of time. First question. First one comes in from Hakuru15. Hey BBK, I know this sounds stupid to ask, but did you watch the new Red vs. Blue Season 10? If you're referring to the new trailer that blew my mind because it looked like a Matrix action film, I did see that. I haven't seen the uh, the premiere yet, but it looks sweet. Thank you. Cheer Chub asks if I'm going to be doing any open lobbies this summer. No, sir, I will not because I don't have any good internet this summer. I relocate for a job opportunity this fall. All that stuff will resume. It's Luxful asks, also, how is networking with social networks Twitter benefit a YouTube channel and how do you do this effectively? Uh, you need to make a Twitter account and you just need to find friends and start talking with them and then find bigger people and start retweeting their tweets and find guys that you want to follow and information that you like. Twitter's a great opportunity to talk with friends and to talk with people who uh, want to interact on a better basis. I love Twitter. Uh, the best way to actually use it to help your channel, find friends and become active with it. I think that's... The main reason I use it, I don't use it, you know, honestly for, like, views and all that stuff. I use it to talk with friends. But good question. Now, let's get into the topic and your responses from last week. You all gave me extremely good responses. If I didn't pick your name, it's just because I didn't have the time. So, uh, just, just try again. So, last week's topic was... Dun, 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 dun. If Halo 4 could be like any of the previous Halos, which would you want it to be like and why? And yes, we we're playing Griff Ball because it's awesome! Paul B says, response to the topic, if H4 could have a matchmaking system like any of the previous Halo games, then which would I choose? Well, to tell the truth, Halo 3, set game type and map, and the option to veto once is perfect. Allows for all maps and game types to be equally enjoyed or experienced. Reach allows the player too much choice, and with that comes a lot of the same game types and maps being played over and over. Matchmaking in certain playlists like Rumble Pit's stale at times. Thank you, Paul B. Looking forward to those Halo 4 updates. The Captain Pants writes, I want Halo 4 to be like Halo 3 in matchmaking because I personally can't just play one game in Halo 3. It's so addicting! I agree, Captain Pants. Hey, thank you for coming out. Captain Pants has been in some of my previous streams. Thank you. Alec Mustin 87 it can be a little of Halo Reach, but more of Halo 3. Good response. Silence777 writes, Well, considering that they already made a big deal about Infinity going to be a revolutionary multiplayer system, I don't think anything we've seen before will resemble it greatly. But I would have to say I prefer Combat Evolve's multiplayer system. It was the least random and least confusing. And speaking about Halo Zone, do you think it is possible we may ever see a match between multiple directors or some such awesomeness? I wouldn't, uh, I, I wouldn't rule it out, man. What we are trying to do is get the Halo Zone stream uh, set up this fall so that directors are streaming on a weekly basis so that that each night you guys could hopefully tune into the stream and see some regular streaming going on on the Halo Zone stream. Thank you. Embers at Dawn writes, Oh, too bad. I can't really answer this week's question. I jumped on the Halo boat with Reach, so I don't have any hopes for it to resemble previous Halo games. Then again, maybe that's a good thing. Hey, that's all good, Embers at Dawn. You know what I really hope in Halo 4? That we get even more people who are new to Halo into this awesome series to enjoy it, because 
I don't care where you popped into Halo. If you enjoy it, you enjoy it. And that's, you know, really what I want to see is this community grow and get better. So, for Reeks, I played original Halo's multiplayer limitedly, never twos, threes, barely, and Reaches obsessively. The only reason for that is because I used to be a noob at Halo and Reaches system was good stepping stone. I felt like three system was too frustrating and never fully played it, but when Reach came out, I actually got good at Halo. Now, as I'm getting better at the game, I find myself respecting H3's multiplayer more, and I'm leaning towards three system. Great response. Flash Ghost Rice, it would be cool to see H2 ranking and reach gameplay. I don't really care about the maps as long as they are good with gameflow. Parkatron Snow says, If H4 could resemble Halo Reach's gameplay, H3's maps, and Halo 2's ranking system, that would be bloody awesome. Love you, Parkatron. Tall Chief writes, Oh! Everybody check Tall Chief out. Halo's own director and a beastle. Another beastle writes in, PackerCat17, I hope it will resemble H3 because of ranking system, the montages, MLG, the playlist, and especially the maps. I don't know if you ever thought about making montage other than CEA edits, but you should think about it. It's a ton of fun and great to look back and see what you did. Thanks, PackerCat. I might make some more uh, edits and get into that montages, but check out PackerCat, guys. He makes some beautiful stuff and gets some beastle clips. Our next one comes from official Mitch Meister. This is my fave series on all of YouTube. I have no questions, only love. Well, I love you, Meister, and I really am stoked to see where Nova's gonna go. That's this Monday night in the pit. Here comes your topic. Out of all the Halo games, what is your favorite map and why? The and why here is critical. I'm not just gonna put a one-word answer. You gotta tell me why it's your favorite map. Could be any Halo game. <coughs> Lockout. <coughs> Blackout. <coughs> yeah, yeah. All right, guys. Have a great week. I'm gonna see you uh, next Monday or maybe later this week. Pay attention to Paul B and M Vito, and finally, check out that Halo 4 Beginner's Guide Part 3. Love ya, and later. <laughs>